Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Mark McDonald with our weekly update. I have decided to move them up to noon on Wednesdays uh, so that we have plenty of time to share what's going on on Wednesday evenings as we continue to have those activities. But let me tell you, today is a strange one because we are in the middle of the election results and there's a lot of unknown. <laughs> and, and I don't have anything to bring on that except this. You know, I started this sermon series called The Good Old Days and it follows the Exodus and it talks about how hard it is to leave the past behind and move into the promised land. And it's been amazing to me that I've followed these scriptures that were chosen decades ago in the lectionary that every one of them reminds us that they were going toward their new normal. It took them a long time to get there and they were frustrated and they wanted to turn back and they wanted to get back to the good old days, but God had a promise for them, a new normal. And that's what we get. Today, this Sunday scripture is from uh, Joshua 24 and it, it, it reminds us that even once they got to that promised land, to that new normal, struggles continued. So here's what I know. While the election isn't decided, probably won't be, it seems like, for days or maybe weeks, I know this. God was faithful to lead his people through the wilderness to the promised land, was faithful to them through the promised land, and is faithful to us in Jesus Christ today that he has even conquered the grave. There's nothing in this world that can separate us from the love of God through Jesus Christ. So no matter what the outcome, know this, God is faithful. So keep courage. Stay strong in this. Uh, join us Sunday. The sermon actually that I'm writing is, has a lot to do with the, the changes that we have to embrace along the way, but I do want to encourage you in this time. So back to the weekly update. This evening, this Wednesday evening, tonight, we are having our Healthcare Heroes worship service, and uh, what we're asking you to do is come up to 7th Street. That's by the youth entrance where we keep the trailers and other things around. Come up there. We're going to have our worship time. It's a brief worship time like we've done a few times before. You'll be able to pull up in your car and tune into the radio station that we will share with you when you get there and listen over your radio so that we're at a safe distance. And then afterwards, all of those who are working in healthcare, we have a special gift for you and we'll instruct you how to get those to you safely as well. So tonight, six o'clock, Healthcare Heroes Worship. I'm excited about that. No matter what's going on around us, we want to say thank you to all those who are serving so faithfully and on the front lines of healthcare for us. Also, our sanctuary work continues. You've seen some pictures in the newsletter. Remember, that comes out today online. It's out in the mail right now, so you'll get it soon. We have still have everything taped up, as you can see, but we're also moving along. They are, are priming the ceiling. They've painted several coats. They still have some more to do. It looks beautiful to see that white start to pop again. And now they're working on the trim. So you can see here how they have the trim color. Uh, it, it's darkening up because they have they've have some of the overspill from the ceiling but it looks beautiful. We're moving along with that. Thank you so much for your input about the carpet. We've had, uh, as I understand, overwhelmingly positive responses and everybody's just ready to get back together, aren't we? We're still working toward a Christmas Eve deadline to try and be back in there Christmas Eve. We're still, it all depends on, of course, the pandemic and contractors and deliveries and supplies. So there are a lot of variables, but we're still working toward that goal. And, and we, we thank you for your input for that. Uh, so much more to come along the way. Remember last week I shared with you that we have we will not get our deposits back for the youth mission trip. So our church has forfeited that. We've lost those deposits because of the contract we had. Uh, we didn't lose a significant amount of other, but if you paid a deposit uh, and if you do need that back, don't hesitate to tell us. We'll get that back to you. If you can donate it to the church, that just helps us more financially, but let us know if that puts you in a bind and you need those deposits back as well. You know, uh, we have a church work day that's on the front page of the newsletter. It's this Saturday. It's not big projects, working in some of the flower beds, doing some more work outside, as you've noticed. That started to, they've started to do a lot of work outside and, and inside as well. So the trustees and volunteers are working hard, as well as our contractors. 
Uh, look on that front page, you'll see some of the upcoming youth activities. We're still finding ways to stay connected, to get in our groups. Uh, we've had lots of groups that have been moving inside to the fellowship hall because the weather has turned either rainy, as it was for many days, or colder. And so we're excited that we have that opportunity to continue to look for ways that we can expand that and continue to stay close to each other. Uh, this week in the newsletter, I encourage you to look. There have been a lot of losses. There have been a lot of struggles in the, in the church family. Lowell Tebbett is one of our church members, a member of the Alpha class, Sunday school class, passed away this week. We're mourning his loss. We haven't made any funeral service plans yet for a memorial, but we will talk about that a little bit later. Just keep uh, the Tebbett family and, and that class in your prayers. If you look through that newsletter, you see there have been a lot of, of losses. Asa's mother passed away. Asa Whitaker's mother, that's the Barker's grandmother. My nephew has passed away this last week. Richard Fraser's grandmother and Amy Collins' grandfather. So there are lots of losses that are kind of a step beyond our normal family, family of family. So keep them in your prayers. I'll tell you also there have been a lot of people who have had surgeries and health problems. So we continue to include prayers in the bulletin. All you need to do is go to the website and fill out a form. We want to make sure we have permission to share that kind of information and those names. So we do have a form on the website or you can call and let us know. We just want to make sure we have permission. We don't, we don't break into anybody's privacy. But look at that in the newsletter as well. There's so many things that you can keep up with. What I want you to hear more than anything else, in all this time of change, it just seems doesn't sometimes like it just stacks layer upon layer upon layer. Uh, the governor this last week talked about the layers of prevention that we have, but we also have layers of stress and anxiety. I want you to know that, that this is something that is not new to God's children, and we can get through this. We are getting through this. Our church is doing exceptionally well. So stay the course, stay strong, keep courage. And today, to close our weekly update, I want to offer a prayer for you and for our church. So I ask you to go with me in a time of prayer. Gracious God, thank you so much for you've led us through this extended time of separation and all the challenges we have as we continue to see challenges both in our nation and our world, as we struggle through the challenges of our election, as we know about personal challenges and losses and health struggles. Lord, we, we ask you to renew us with a strength that can only come from your Spirit. Remind us that you are a God who delivered all your people through that difficult time of exodus to the promised land. But even after arriving at the promised land, we continue to struggle. You are always faithful. We ask for you to remind us of that long history of faithfulness, that you would lead us through this time. Help us to stay close to you in our personal devotions, in our worship together, in our, our church devotions. Help us to stay close to each other in our small groups. Give us strength. Help us to carry on. Help each one of us, Lord, to reach out to another person or lots of people this week. Help us to invite new people to church by handing out the cards that are in the, the Bible box outside or just simply calling up people, visiting with them, inviting to join us online, come to a small group. Lord, we ask for your strength in this time and thank you for the way that you have always guided us and promised to always be with us. Give us that strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. My friends, I hope you have a blessed evening and a blessed week uh, and be a blessing to others. God bless.